Hi guys and welcome back to another video. Today's video is going to be all about new She Glam products. If you don't know, I have a few videos on She Glam and it's basically Shein's makeup line. Super cheap, super affordable, and they literally come out with new stuff pretty much all the time. So I had placed an order previously of their eyeshadows and some of their products and a lot of them were hits, some were misses. So I kind of took a while without ordering anything new, but I was on there a few weeks ago and I saw they came out with so many new products. So I made an order, everything arrived, and I wanted to try them all on camera with you because if you don't know, none of these makeup products are returnable. So if you purchase them and you don't like them, you're kind of stuck with them. So I thought it'd be a great idea to just try these on, test them out, and let you decide whether or not you like it, whether or not you would want to try it. I know people have opposing views on whether or not they think it's safe or if it's worth purchasing. I personally just love finding new affordable makeup to test and play around with so that is my intention and my purpose for purchasing them so if you would like to see the items that I picked up how they work sort of just like a review then just keep on watching all right so hopping right into it because we have quite a lot of stuff we have this uh, press for fresh setting spray we have freckle tints we have some blushes and some highlight and uh, blush duos we have um, blush sticks we have several lipsticks um, that came out that I'm like super excited to try out we have a ton of different things I did notice that a lot of items on there are pretty much like dupes for products that have come out already which that's up to you whether you like that or not um, but we'll be reviewing all of those things they came out with like mattifying blot papers they came out with color eyeliners like they have so much on here and I'm super excited to try these out. They have these eyeshadows, these quads that kind of look like the ColourPop ones. They came out with like the five pan eyeshadow palettes and all of that. So we're gonna get into pretty much all of this. I am going to try to use as many products as I possibly can. I'll be sure to link the majority of this down below. So let's go ahead and get started. So since we don't have any like foundation or anything like that, I just went in with my Fenty Ease Drop, which I have been loving. And then now we're able to move into the first product and that's gonna be this concealer. Honestly, the concealer was a little tough just because I feel like the shades are a little hard to be able to match online, given that there is no store for you to be able to walk into and kind of just like match yourself. So I went with the color that I thought would fit me the closest. It kind of resembles that of the It Cosmetics too, where you can just squeeze out the product. I got the shade 204 Fiji, which I think is gonna be the closest. I kind of just went for something that would have a warm undertone, given that I have warm undertones as well. The consistency feels pretty thick. It's not runny or anything like that. So it does kind of give me that resemblance of the It Cosmetics. Just gonna put that under the eye and we'll work with that to see how it works with coverage, if it's any good, if I like it, would I see myself using it again, and things like that. Okay, so this is the concealer on. I do see that brightening effect, which we always want from a concealer, which I really do like. This is a first impression, first time I'm using it, so so far so good, I really like it. I'm intrigued and interested to see how it sets and how it looks with everything else, but so far I really do like the texture of that concealer. It doesn't dry down to be matte, it kinda just stays very, not necessarily dewy, but it gives a very natural finish which kinda just resembles the texture of the rest of my face, so so far not bad. So we don't have a bronzer in this little haul, so I did just go ahead with my go-to bronzer at the moment, which is actually a powdered foundation from L'Oreal, and it's this infallible foundation powder in the shade uh, 330 Hazuna, and I find it to be such a perfect color for me. It's warm, it's nice, love that. And we're just cleaning up a little bit with this Fenty Lavender Powder to now be able to move into blush and highlight. So I did pick up three items within this category that I thought were great. I already own some of their blushes and I genuinely really do love it. I think their color is great. The formula is good. I wouldn't say it's necessarily great when it comes to this specific lightweight matte 
matte blush but I find that their color selection is so so good and you can't necessarily really go that wrong when it comes to a powder foundation now some blend a little better and look a little better on the skin but for the most part I feel like blush is just something that you like you can't mess up and if you do then what are you doing um, so the first thing that I want to just show you guys is this lightweight matte blush in this tangerine color and I saw this one originally and I didn't pick it up the first time but I loved this uh, this shade so much that I'm like you know what let me pick it up it's sort of just this ombre effect of like pink to like an apricot tangerine color so I'm super excited to be able to use that and they also had this stick glow blush stick which I was obsessed once again with the color I find that it looks so so pretty it's like a deep pink which i think will look nice with my skin tone and then we also have this which is pretty new i hadn't seen this one before and it's this glam 101 highlighter and blush duo and this definitely gives me elf vibes with their little duos too so i was intrigued to see uh how this works and if it's any good so i am going to hmm, how should we do this i want to be able to try a little bit of everything so what i think i'll do is put a little bit of this cream on my brush and just put it over i realized i didn't do that before i set but sometimes honestly i put cream on top of powders and it works anyway so i guess i guess we'll try this one and see how it works out so i'm just gonna put some more on my hand and just pick up a little bit to see if that color comes through honestly i have no idea or intention with the look that i'm trying to go for this is really just to be able to try on all these products and see what we like and things like that so this is the blush going on so far and it's really pretty i i genuinely really like that let me just take my other mirror so i can get a close-up and see i just want to make sure that it doesn't pick up any of my concealer and it doesn't mess up anything and I ugh, I've been obsessed and really enjoying as I'm sure the entire world has right now uh, with the warmer weather and summertime just like cream products and things like that I think it just looks so nice even though honestly I've been relying a lot on matte products because I get I'm not super oily but I get really oily throughout the day and then obviously like it's hot so you're sweating so you're just like dripping so matte products have been amazing but if you're going somewhere like let's say for those just initial hour or two hours cream products look so so beautiful and also setting them with a powder is great too so this is the blush so far on its own and I think it looks so cute honestly as like everyone mentions blush I feel like just does it just does what it needs to do to your face it just brings back some color brings back some life and it just makes you look cute like it really just does so I'm just gonna continue to just put a little bit of it on there I think this is such a plus it blends out really nicely I'm not seeing any like patchiness of that color anywhere uh, and once again the finish looks very natural it's gonna go into this tangerine color we do get some kickback when you are um, getting some of that product so just be warned and beware I am just gonna take a little bit of that because I don't want too much on it and I'm just gonna put this on top and we are definitely like mattifying that cream blush that we put which is not necessarily always intentional for this purpose i really just want to be able to see how that blush looks on top um she's cute i'm not in love with her i think i think that just this lighter part kind of makes it a little too light for me and for my liking so she's okay do i love her i don't think so i think i liked my skin how it looked better with just the cream product on its own but i'm intrigued to see how this would look and honestly i think i might just go for the deeper side of this uh, blush when I use it again just because I find that that like lighter part of it kind of just made it like too light for me and I'm not necessarily a fan of that but I do want to just try now this shade in the blush it looks a little muted it looks a little uh, like an apricot color so we shall see how that looks I just want to put it on this side and kind of just see if I like that one a little better let's just try this one I do think I like this one better. This one looks nice. This one is a little on the cool tone side, which is also kind of different for me. I usually lean for things that are a little warmer. Um, so that one is a little on the cooler side, but I kind of like it. I think I like that one much more than the other. So I'm just going to 
gonna run it over we are looking very blushy today but honestly i don't think you can ever go wrong with too much blush well i mean you can but you know i'm just gonna go with my sponge and just kind of go over everything just to make sure everything is a little nice and blended we don't want to look crazy but that is the blush overall i think the stick is a go for sure um i like the lightweight matte blushes like i mentioned i have a few other shades i think i like a few of the other ones better just because i think this one is a little too light and this is actually really cute we are going to use the highlight because i am intrigued to see how the highlighter works because if the highlighter works nice as well then this duo is worth it you have two products that actually work i am just going to swatch it before trying it this is what she looks like very nice and reflective so I'm hoping for goodness. Let's see how that looks. Oh, wow. That looks very, very nice. Very reflective. So I'm just going to take a little bit on my brush and we are going to see what she looks like. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Very icy. Um, definitely a cool toned uh, blush set. But wow, that actually looks very, very nice. I just want to be able to look at it from the side and see if it has like that gray cast, which typically cool tone highlighters have. And that's the only reason why it's just like, this is not cute because um, every time I turn, you see like a gray thing on it. So I'm just intrigued to see if we see that really pretty. And I think that it comes in like three other different shades. I just picked up one. So I do like the formula of it. It's very like very like soft and blendable, doesn't feel chalky. I can say the same for the blush, very blendable, feels nice, blends well. So overall for these two sets, first impression, I would say I really like the formula of it. I, I do think that the color is just a little too cool tone for me. Uh, I'm more obviously warm tone, so I would check to see if there's like a more golden highlighter blush set or something along those lines but overall it looks really nice i'm just like looking into my mirror it doesn't look glittery it doesn't look um anything like that it's just very sheeny which i really really enjoy so that is the highlight i have it at the tip of my nose and i think she looks very 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 cute so that is a plus so this is why I love doing these types of videos because it's honestly not only for you, it's also for me because I find new staples, I get to test out things and show them to you and also discover new products. So that for sure is a win. Just brushed off the excess powder that we had to just be able to clean up the look. And now we're gonna use this Press Refresh Setting Spray. And it says it'll keep your makeup fresh and it smells like a vacation. Let's see if that's true. I don't see any I just want to see what the mist looks like okay the mist is not that bad it doesn't oh wow that smells nice this smells like the physicians formula butter bronzer I'm sold by just the smell let's see how it applies on the skin oh my goodness that smells so so good so i typically always just like like to set my makeup with some setting spray before going into the brows and the eyes just so that all the powder that i put on my skin can sort of just like blend in together and melt i really 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 love how that smells let's see if it actually like helps well, let's see what it does for the skin. But it says it'll keep your look fresh from AM to PM with our coconut scented setting spray. That is exactly what it smells like. It smells like a pick me up bottle that smells like a breezy beach vacation. True. Hint, you'll want to keep this baby on you at all times. So it looks like it's just meant to be able to keep your makeup look nice and fresh. So I've used it now to just be able to kind of just melt everything together. And so far, I do like how the face is looking. So that is a win for me. We are now going to move on to brows. I have picked up some brow products before and their skinny pencil is actually one of my favorite items. I feel like brow products are items that we go through pretty much all the time because I don't know about you, but I use them all the time. So honestly, if I can find something cheaper that's just as effective as my like go-to products, then why not? I can save some money. So that's why I'm always kind of just like intrigued to find some products. The only thing that I do find is like 
The color selection for cheaper items are typically always not that good. I don't know what it is, but we are going to try. I got this two-in-one brows on demand pencil and I believe one point is this like marker sort of um point and the other one should be a pencil now one product that i have been using that i have been loving lately is my glossier brow flick which is pretty much just like this and i just comb my brows up and then just kind of fill in so that's really what i'm gonna kind of do today i haven't been going heavy on the brows just because i have very thin brows and i've kind of just been letting them like grow out so I want to see if, if I do the same thing that I would typically do with the uh, brow flick, it'll do the same thing. So I literally would just like mimic the hair direction to sort of just like do new ones with this marker. I'm just trying to see how the color looks. And so far, honestly, the color seems to match my brows, which is great. It's not too warm, but it's not too cool. So I'm literally just going into those areas where there's some sparseness and that is what i am filling in i am just going to use the pencil side for the purpose and sake of this video this one is literally just like a typical pencil so i am just going to use this to kind of like outline the bottom of the brow and then we can sort of just like fill in as well i just want to see how it works i did see like a, a soap brow dupe on there. Honestly, I wasn't necessarily really intrigued by it, so I didn't pick it up, but it looks exactly like uh, the ColourPop one, the Patrick Ta one. I have been using the Anastasia Brow Freeze, and that's really just what I find has been working the most. So I kind of just like gave up on even looking for other ones, which is why I didn't necessarily even bother to pick that one up. But if you're on the hunt for a soap brow sort of like dupe or um, something along those lines just know that they do have one on their website the brows have been filled in we clean them up just a little with my nars concealer i've also just prepped my eyelids because we are going into eyeshadow and eyeshadow is always super fun i feel like this is where brands can get creative with different colors and honestly even just pairing neutrals a lot of the eyeshadow palettes that i got well i technically only really got four um, because I really don't need any more eyeshadow palettes, but I did see these newer ones and I wanted to try them out specifically because they are like complete dupes or look exactly the same to other uh, eyeshadow palettes that I have in my collection. So we'll get to that. I'll show them to you. We'll try and see how many of them we can use and all of that good stuff. So the first one that we have here, and it's the only like big palette like this that I got is the Smart Cookie Palette and she is just a all neutral palette and when I saw this one I, I was just like oh like another neutral palette blah 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 but honestly neutral palettes are the palettes that I use the absolute most and when I saw this one it resembled so much the makeup by Mario palette that he came out with his original one with pretty much just like all nude and it really is just colors that you use all the time so I've had this one in my cart for a while I didn't purchase it when I purchased all the other ones just because like I said I have so many neutral palettes but this time around I'm like you know what I actually really do use all of these products so I picked this one up I just love the array of colors they're all mattes which I love too so that is one palette that we have I'm gonna show all of them to you and then I'll try and like dabble into all of them to create a look because honestly I have no idea what makeup look I'm gonna do today but I'm just hoping to be inspired by what I see we then have this other eyeshadow palette right here that is called tan lines and this one was unique in the way that it looks it does not look like your traditional eyeshadow palette honestly at first I thought this was bronzer which Honestly, you could probably use as it as well too, but this is their Cosmic Crystal 5 color eyeshadow range And I thought this was so interesting and intriguing once again neutral colors um, So we have that there as well And then the next two eyeshadow palettes I picked up literally were just because they were complete dupes We have this five pan eyeshadow palette and this one literally looks like a dupe for the elf quads and also the Natasha Denona five pan palettes, but these are humongous like look at the size in comparison to this one and I believe this one was under five dollars and this one I think is three dollars as well so you're getting one more shade and you're also getting 
um, a lot more eyeshadow than this one and they have different colors I picked this one up because I thought that yellow was just so so beautiful so we have that one and then the last one which I was just like oh my goodness this is also a complete dupe is this cosmic crystal eyeshadow quad in charm school and this one is a legit dupe for the ColourPop. And I had to take out the ColourPop because I'm like, oh my God, I have to compare them side by side so you can see. So this is the She Glam, this is the ColourPop. They seem to be the same exact um, amount. Actually, no, I'm looking at the back. This one has a little less. This is 5.2 grams and this is 5.9, but they literally look identical. And I believe this one is way cheaper than the ColourPop one as well. And I was just like, oh my God, She Glam is coming for ColourPop, coming for e.l.f and it's even more affordable than those brands. So why not try them, right? So that is what we're gonna do today. Uh, we have some pops of color, but I think I'm gonna stick to a neutral eye because what I really wanna test out is uh, these colored liners that they came out with. So they came out with this Color Crush She Glam eyeliners. And they look so pretty, hopefully they're good. They all look like pastel colors, which typically are not like are a super miss so we shall see i have them in these four colors and i have one more and i think this one is actually just white i don't have a white liner so i wanted to buy one i think um having a white liner is really good for when you want to just put some color over top so we shall see i think i'm leaning towards like the purple one i i've, I've been leaning towards purple a lot lately so so we're just gonna do a neutral eye and then we'll do the liner with that purple color and we'll see how everything comes together. This is what we have so far. Pretty good, not the best. Like I'm not even gonna lie and try and come up in here and say like, oh my goodness, this is the best eyeshadow I've ever tried. They're not the best, but they're not the worst. But for their price point, they're pretty, pretty good. You get the job done, they blend. Um, there is a little bit of fallout, so just FYI there. But overall, I think they're pretty decent. Nothing mind blowing, but they're not they're not bad at all. So I move on to the eyeliners. Now this I'm very intrigued to be able to test out because I have I've been loving colored eyeliners, honestly. I find that they are so fun to play with especially when you just don't want like a pop of color all over your lid or anything like that i feel like just putting a nice bold eyeliner look is just so cute so when i saw these on the website i'm like hey let's try them out uh i'm just gonna swatch all of them right here so that we can get a sense of what they look like okay this is the pink one um she's very liquidy so i want to see how she dries down let's do this is the white very pigmented wow okay that's 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 good to know um sometimes they'd be a little choppy this is the blue one. Oh wow they're actually swatching very very nice so i'm intrigued to see how that's gonna look on the eye and then we have this yellow which wow overall so far very impressed with how they're showing up and then we have the purple which is the one that we are going to put on our eyes today as you can see this is what they look like they still haven't dried right away which is good which means they don't dry super super fast so you have some time to play around with them so let's just jump right in and do that i'm gonna start with this eye and i am just going to flick out this way there we go and then we'll go in so just off the bat the tip doesn't really bend that much so just know that it's not very forgiving in the sense of like, it'll move with you. You do have to kind of go over it just a few times. So just a heads up. Um, I'm going over it one more time. Okay, that first initial time, it doesn't show up as much. It kind of comes off a little darker, but when you go again on that second time, it does show up a little lighter um it kind of looks like a muted it looks a lot more muted i don't know if it's because it's mixed with the brown but i still genuinely love the color i would probably take like a lavender eyeshadow palette and an eyeshadow color and just put it on top to make it a little lighter or make it a little more bold but if you don't like anything too bold i think this color would look really really nice it's like leaning more like a purpley blue 
So um, it does show up on the eye. I'm gonna do it on the other one as well. So this is the eyeliner complete. I like this color, although it is not the color that I thought it was gonna be. I thought it would be a little more vibrant, like more of a lavender color. This one seems to be like a muted gray purple, which is still a really pretty color, and I think it'll be nice specifically to like be able to wear it in the fall time and even in the winter time it's not super like spring purple bright which is nice overall i'm very like i'm very impressed with it i just tried one color obviously so i can't speak for all but so far so good i would say it was easy to work with i did just layer it twice and i think that helps with the pigmentation it dries down matte so it's not reflective or anything like that nothing transferring which i really genuinely enjoy i think overall this is quite a win and especially once again for the price i think it's great mascara is on and honestly i feel like the look just comes together whenever there's mascara i have been using and really loving where is this the air volume mega mascara from l'oreal i love it i don't use falsies if you probably already seen from previous videos so i really do like using mascaras that really you know like actually do something for my lashes so it doesn't look like i have absolutely nothing on i do just want to mention i added this color from the quad to just try it on this one right here in that like inner corner aspect of the eye and i think it looks so cute the look is coming together so so nicely i'm just waiting for my lashes to dry the mascara on the lashes to dry and now we are going to move on into the last section and i think this is the one that i have the most products for because they just had so many like neutral colors which i definitely am always on the hunt for and that is in the lip category so we have seven products here obviously we're not going to use all of them but i do want to just swatch a few we have here this matte lipstick in the shade ladies first and this one looks so beautiful look at that color that looks gorgeous that honestly might be the color that we end up wearing today we have this matte lip whip which is like this blurred effect style of lipstick and i thought this was so intriguing i was like oh i kind of like that and look like it has that like really nice velvet feel kind of like that cloudy and like pouty type of look which honestly i think i might use this too these are like so good i think this would be so perfect for like a no makeup makeup day this is so pretty i saw those online and i was like wait i need to try them i have a few from ColourPop, but the color just isn't right so when i saw this color i was like oh let's try it out let's see if it's a win and we'll go from there we then have this other lipstick in what's your sign and this one is more of like a deeper sort of just like mauvey pink color i'm like where do i even oh this one is very creamy so you can tell the formula let's see let me see if i can if you can see it it's like a lot more wet than these two these are a lot more matte this one looks to be a bit more creamy a bit more pink um i don't know if i like that honestly <laughs> we'll see we'll, we'll test that out and see if i like it um so far i don't think so i don't think that's the color that i would go for and that formula is just i like more matte lips i also saw this lipstick which looked like a fenty sort of just like dupe for one of their hydrating lipsticks that came out and this is the lip sip hydrating lipstick in the color infatuation and this is what she looks like literally the tube and everything kind of looks very familiar to that of fenty and i'm just gonna swatch it here oh wow this one looks like it's a bit of like a gloss that looks nice that one i want to try let's see how that looks oh wow it's not super pigmented but it shows up oh wow that feels very nice and it looks so so glossy wow okay that one feels really really nice and it smells smells very good we like that but that is not the color that we are going to stick with with this look but i did just want to try that one and then the last three items that we have are these duos and this is also i guess part of like their glam one-on-one -on -one collection because i do see that on a few different products and this is going to be a lipstick and lip liner combo so like one side a lippy pen stick side and then we have like the liner side so that other side reminds me of the color pop lippy sticks um and i'll just swatch some of them for you i have three shades one in deep caramel one in soft chai and another in warm nutmeg so this is warm nutmeg i'll just swatch that here for you 
Oh, and they look very nice and matte, which is once again my favorite finish. That one looks to be a little bit red for me, for my undertone, but we shall see. This one is the color Deep Caramel. Oh wow, this one is nice and pink. That'll be a pretty like every day. That is Deep Caramel. And then the last one is going to be the color Soft Chai. So that one's gonna be, oh, this one is very, very pink. So I think honestly the more wearable one for me would probably be Deep Caramel. That's probably the color I would most likely honestly wear the most. The other one, this one looks way too light for me, but I think this would be nice with maybe a deeper lip liner and then you can kind of just put that in the middle, even though it's honestly a little pink for me. And this one seems to be a little cool, but sometimes with some looks, that can work so just i think i'm gonna go with this one this is gonna be that lady's first color in that nice neutral matte and i'm just gonna put it across the lip that's a nice color yo i do want to try though one of these lip liners i think i might use for this let's see warm nutmeg oh Oh wow, like, so let's look at the lip liners. This is Warm Nutmeg, which is like a really dark chocolate brown. Then we have the lip liner for Soft Chai. Okay, and that one seems to be a little more uh, like cool tone and mauve. And then we have this last one, which, and that is going to be Deep Caramel. So I think I actually might just go with Warm Nutmeg, and I just wanna outline the outside of the lip just to add some depth I'm just gonna use the setting spray one more time to just make sure that everything is nice and set and we will or reassess shortly. Now that I'm completely finished, there's actually two items that I completely forgot to mention, so I do just wanna show them to you. This is this Freck Please Freck Pencil, which is so cute, and it's to be able to just create like full freckles, and I have it just here. I'll just show you what it looks like. This is what like the little brush looks like, just like this, and then you would just kinda of just like put them all over your Face. this is what the little marks look like not super pigmented which I guess would be great for putting them over your face honestly I don't know why I buy these types of products because I try like the freckle look and then I'm just like yeah I don't like how this looks but I saw it on there and I was intrigued so for a look whenever I try to do it I will be using that but I did just want to show it in this video in case you like to create those like full freckles they have a freckle item for that and the last thing that I wanted to show was just this liquid eyebrow pencil that I completely forgot to mention to you guys and it kind of has like that microfiber three points type of thing so like you can create like uh, hair like strokes let me just create a few of them so you can see and the hairs like those lines look so nice and fine so you can literally just like go like that and kind of just create and mimic the actual like a uh, uh, hair like strokes that you already have so I thought that was pretty cool and pretty nice to be able to have and be able to use down the line and um, yeah that is all the products that I purchased this time around some hits some misses just to recap I would definitely have some items that I would for sure recommend and that will be the blush, the blush stick, I think is a hit. Very nice and pigmented. It blends well, the color is so nice, and I think it's such a beautiful product. I would also recommend the Duo, the highlighter and blush. I think it looks so, 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 so nice. Um, the eyeshadows, like I mentioned earlier, I believe it's up to you whether or not you want to purchase them. They're good, not the best, not the worst. So up to you if you have some brands and some palettes that are your goal, like your go-tos and your favorites, I would not by any means say these are like items that would replace that, but I think it's such a great uh, brand to be able to explore. If you don't have staple products, but you wanna be able to test makeup out and test eyeshadow out and be able to have a good option of colors without having to spend too much, that's when I would recommend these eyeshadow palettes. I think the liners were a, a, a complete go. I'm excited uh, to be able to use all the other ones to see how they come off on the eye. They're not the most 
I wouldn't say pigmented because they are pigmented. It's just the color. I feel like the color is very muted, so they're not that like in your face. But also, these three colors tend to look a little more, even in the swatches, that they would pop out a little more than that purple. So I am intrigued in getting this. But overall, just using that purple one, I think that these would be something very interesting to be able to look into. Looking into everything else, I feel like the lipstick is for sure a hit and these even these duels i think is great it's not the same color the lip liner and the lipstick are not the same color so i think they'll be very nice for creating that like dimension look where you can put the darker color on the outer parts of the lip and then put that lighter color in the middle i think it's so good this i'm super excited to use which is that whip effect i think that the color looks very nice and i love that formula i think this will be great for like days that you don't want to wear any makeup but you just want like a nice you know soft color on your lip i think this lip feels amazing so i'm very excited to be able to try this and continue to wear it throughout the month and the seasons that are to come and yeah i would say that's pretty much all the things that i would say like off the bat i would definitely like recommend you looking into and trying out the setting spray it smells nice it looks very nice it looks so far like it did you know it did what a setting spray does in terms of like making sure that everything melts together and things like that i love the smell so if by any chance you are looking for a setting spray that smells amazing that is a good one i hope you guys enjoyed this video thank you so much for being here remember this is my review my opinion of me trying these things on by all means, test things out on your own. Look at other reviews before purchasing if you're unsure. I hope you have an amazing day and I'll catch you in the next one. Bye.